Hello. I've just been playing around with something. This is um, VirtualBox and it's the XS, so the small version, meaning there is almost no software on it. It's just a plain XFCE thing and that's it. And yeah, I've probably during during my work, I've been installing Sublime Tech, but that's it uh, after installation, of course. Now, we were talking about um, power level, it's called. It's a kind of prompt you can have in front of here in ZSH. Now, ZSH is either installed or is not installed, right? You, some of us want a minimal system. Well, minimal means minimal, and then you don't have anything. And Adequing D is the bare one. Don't have anything. Now, let's have a look. So if this, you're new to all this, then you look for ZSH. Is installed, what packages are installed? It's red, meaning it is installed. So you can remove it. That's the, the, the trash can, right? So all these things and even more things can be installed. But ZSH is there. That's the most main thing. Am I on ZSH? No. Bash. How do I get to ZSH? Type to ZSH. Stop there. And log out. You are now, after login, on ZSH. So that's step number one, I would say, because the prompt we're going to have is has something to do with ZSH, which is, this is actually a nice one, and the team is dual J. So I would write it down, because you can say in the ZSHRC, we have a bash RC, and we have a ZSHRC, and these guys define what it's gonna look like, what aliases there are, and so on, settings. So, yep, let's fix that. You know the drill already. So you go pacman minus s. Look at the colors. That's a ZSH for you. Sublime text number four. That's all you need to remember. And yes, remove the other one and install that one. That's it. Now, sometimes people leave the window open and you can't uh, close it. Closing things is easy. Super escape gives you this, this marker or sometimes it's depending on the icon theme, it can be a skull. So I'm gonna kill this. When I click, it's dead, it's gone. So super, escape, well, keep pressing super, right? And then escape, and you can kill anything. You touch. So, control T, we have ourselves a ZSH, check. Now it's Kafaito as theme. Why is it changing all the time? Because we told it to be random. Where do we tell it to be random? Here. Control find random. ZSH random. Now, I'll try to be step by step. And um, so step two would be installing the theme. Yay, power level 10K or something. Let's have a look. Don't install the one from Arginex, install the one from number two, ZSH Power Level 10 Git. Is a theme for ZSH, and that's why we went to ZSH, it emphasizes and so on. The rest is just marketing. So we install it. And we wait and we read and we follow and if there is anything to read we will swallow it up and here it says to activate power level 10 add the following line to zshrc that happens to be open right now tell me what should i add source user share zsh team power level and so on Control shift c all the way down i suppose best way to put it or somewhere with other sources, if you have other references, source, user, share, and so on. Save, well, that's done. Optional dependencies, we can install these lines and the power line fonts. Now, I've read somewhere that said to us, hey, um, first install the fonts and then run the configure the, the script to configure everything. So, okay, I remember that. So yay, and then Control Shift V, 
Nope, that's not the one. Control C. So yay. I'm gonna get this guy. Whoop, long name. Control Shift C F12. And then here's space. Control Shift V. Do we have it? Yes, it exists. So number one. Let's get that in as well. Build it. So these are the things that are coming from AOR. When you type up all, these packages will be installed from and will be updated and uh, installed from AOR. Built by Paru, by Yay, Pratrizen, by the AOR develop uh, helper you want. Another one with an S. Control Shift C. Let's do a Paru. Voila. And hmm, let's go again for number two. So we have the version from GitHub. The last possible version there is. And then we have a problem. TTF hack or in conflict, I suppose these overlap each other. Uh, it's a choice, right? Go for the choice you want to make. Oh, this is a uh, virtual box, so frankly, I don't care. Okay, so we've installed the package, we've installed fonts. We have added a line to our ZSHRC. What I need to know more, let's do a save, right? And then a tip from the website, and I'll, we, I will show it. Do not type ZSH, but they say you should execute ZSH, exec ZSH. And then we get this, okay. This is power level 10 configuration wizard, it says up here. You're seeing it because, let's see if we can make this bigger. Uh, Control Shift plus, oh cool. So you can read with me. And let's put it in the middle and everything gone. So now the machine needs to know, can you read this? Does this look like a diamond, rotated square? No, it does not. So we say no. So we're missing fonts, obviously. But I'm not going to go and check how, why, and maybe you should have rebooted. Anyway, you go through these loops. Well, configuration screens. It still doesn't look like a clock. <laughs> Taller and fatter. Ah, Urix VT, right? Right, right, right. Let's open this up with Alacrity is installed. Voila, let's see again. Aha. Uh -huh. Does this look like a diamond? Yes, I can concur that's a diamond and that's not a font. So here it goes wrong again. So no, and that's not a lock either. And I like number three, the rainbow. I like number one, the Unicode. I like number three. I like number one and I like number two. And then I like number two. I'm just pressing some buttons, right? Two. Uh, dotted, yeah, why not tilted? And then to the left, number two again. Lightest, number one. Compact or sparse, two is good. Fluent, fine. And what's this? Yes. What's the difference between this one and that one? Ah, no, then. Okay. Number one for both. Yes, recommended. And there we go. So I've got my prompt. And then you always keep reading, right? So in your system, just so you know, you have something. It's a long list. I can open it for you. And we can see the number 1800 lines. So, okay, whatever, right? I'm not gonna read those. But that's what launches. So P10K space configure launches this whole thing. Now I don't want to see it again and again and again. Now let's see about the message. There is a message all the way up and I say, oh my God, what's this? And then you start reading. Okay, you will not see this error message again. Recommended, change the ZSHRC and it wants us to suppress a message. 
this thing quiet so control shift c back to home i guess back to zshrc let's put it all together at the bottom and there's a space i think not needed safe and know the drill exec zsh i've read it on on their website and um voila i mean there is no prompt anymore let's do a scale because right mouse click open terminal should be a la gritty. okay good it is so let's try that again because 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 i want to check something this is always the same right cd pc and then etc comes in the front and then we go to nano mirror list for example we have a look say so x done so we get all these these elements at the side now if you want to get rid of this line and that's what I was, uh, I was looking for there it's all the way up so set this h random that's what he wants to try to do but hey we're overruling everything because we say down here that's the theme source that's the theme source so it's gonna be overwritten anyway so let's see if we open it again and that we still get the line there so this is how it should look right nice clean but that's it i mean it doesn't change it's not randomized it's just always the same prompt and yes you can change it again so ls present working directory we are here and ll there is a hidden thing in here Z, 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 here it is p10k zsh so we just type pt can oh pt yeah okay cool so it doesn't know what it is so it's schmott right change the modus make it executable this little thing p 10 k zsh and then p 10 k and i believe that you have to type configure behind it so configure your thing and you're back in maybe after you've installed more fonts you'll get the lock and all that so i'm not really know don't really know what's going on with that because oh look at that all these colors because if we look for awesome it might be this is xs so it might be less yeah it is less it is less so awesome terminal fonts are installed so i would wonder hey there are fonts but there is also ogf font awesome and there is so this is also an alternative for the this one that we're looking at now yeah i'm scrolling here <laughs> nice so fonts may be something to look into to make it nicer but again let's end with that don't ask me i gave you some help i hope i gave you a a start what am i doing here i hope i gave you a kickstart but um ask the right guy or read the right guy because basically all i did was read where did i read what what did i read where did i go follow the link here and then you go to don't tell me it didn't open i haven't clicked it oh my god sorry guys uh software yeah good because there are lots of information and well this is one way anyway of doing it oh yeah excess remember excess extra small internet there is even not a category called internet there is nothing <laughs> so pacman minus s min we all install whoops we all install Firefox, Vivaldi, Google Chrome, Chromium. I'm installing Min. What is he doing? All right. Internet Min. I've got myself a browser. So you go to here 
and start reading start reading all the information is here get started see below features i went to all my zsh started reading that starting trying this out does didn't work so the way i've done it now should work for you but there's more and eh? there's much more here's arch Linux. so the source that's the line we've added to zshrc this will work so basically this is good this is this is the solution um, besides a few tips that's the way to do it there's so so much more which i cannot help you with eh? because hey at some point in time it is really up to you to figure out all these things coloring and all that wow geniuses right if you see this what's that so cool be my guest explore it and if you have questions or things you can always ask these guys there's also a video here i see so we can click on the video and see what's going on and see if this is something for you before you start first thing why would i ever want this and if you like it okay you can give it a go and see um, if this is meets your approval is that the expression all right Enjoy.